Greetings, fencers. The next verses are about the guards. The primary source word is Leger or Hut, which can translate to Leer, Ward, Position, Posture, but is most commonly called Guard. There are multiple positions Liknaur uses in the system, but there are four primary ones. He's quite clear about us not using others, but why is that, especially when he brings up other guards to use? From the manuscript we see he likes to number stuff to attainable goals, 4 parries, 3 wounds, 8 wines times 3. He wrote verses in rhyme on how to memorize his system. To keep high speed in reaction he's limiting what we have to worry about. These 4 guards are at each height level and do everything you need, don't bother focusing on more. We also get more insight into his priorities. It's better to attack and use the device's cuts and techniques than to statically wait in a guard. If we wait in a guard, then we're giving them a chance to take them before because we're waiting. And if we're in a guard, they know the most direct attacks are from that position. Instead, we don't wait in them, but move in to take them before, staying in motion. Wherever our sword happens to be when we do something is the guard we go through. Joachim Mar gives even more insight into this style of movement. Not going in guards, but staying mobile. Some interpret it as moving from guard to guard, but I personally see it more like a boxer, not settling and being in motion. This way, they don't know where the cut is coming from. A good way to start practicing that is seeing it as a cut through guards from different positions, not making the direct cut from each guard. Later on, the guards just become the positions throughout the cutting lines. At times, it is good to ground yourself with a guard, but understand the reasons for doing it and the pros and cons. So why these four specifically? Well first the guard is not one position, it's all the positions in the area. Fomtog can be held in many different ways for different contexts, from Zornhut to forward positions. Just make sure you're not exposing body parts and you're relaxed. Every cut can be made and over the head provides even more versatility and allows cuts from both sides easily. But the important part is that you go through Fomtog all the time in combat. Whenever you cut and strike around, you go through Fomtog. Ox can be held in retracted positions for comfortability and more momentum in a thrust, but can be moved for all different contexts. Straightening the arm in any direction is the best way to parry a cut depending where it's aiming, and it can easily point to the ground into hanging in order to parry the whole body. Using the thumb on the blade is best for tsas, and long edge is best for long edge cuts. Ox will also be used when cutting around, and is used in winding frequently. Again, I don't see Ox as one retracted position, but all the ways to hold it. It can also be used to force your opponent. If he's in Fontag, you can close an Ox, blocking their direct attack. If he hesitates, thrust. If they push the sword, cut around, chain through, or wind. And if they attack, thrust. Flug is similar to Ox and can be held in all different options for different situations. Bent arms won't be great for parrying, but held straight they are strong enough to block. It can be seen at the end of high cuts in some cases, and is used in winding and thrusting. It controls the low openings well. Flug will also counter low positions like Nebenhut or Shankut, all the same options as previously. Albeck can be done on the side or in the center. It will be the very bottom of descending cuts and will be the transition point. It can start thrust and use Schreichen to deflect and cut. Its best tactical use is playing with distance. It's a great guard for deceiving. Someone will not want you to get close, but it's harder to tell in fool and you're more likely to get a few inches closer and land a thrust. Practice cutting through different guards than the one you're in. And practice all different cuts from each guard in order to keep all options open and never let your opponent know what you'll do. Get as fluid and smooth as possible and stay mobile. Don't use guards for no reason. There's a video link in the description to Mata Fabian's video on guards. Thanks for watching, keep studying, keep practicing. Okay. Alright. <laughs> so, so, well, this is something I want to test. No, this, no, no! I'm not going to thrust you there. It's going to be slicing. That's it's, even worse! It's going to be slicing on the inside of the thigh. <laughs>